Doing something for you and for others from your heart will change who you are. But doing something that you're forced to won't change anything. Hi, my name is Angie, and today I'll be talking about the importance of fitness and why we should do it. Fitness is a thing that most people do. They may do it to get skinny, have abs, or many more. But the most base thing you all should remember is that they do it to stay healthy. Once fitness is in your routine, you would start to become more healthier and you could start to rise slowly to what you first wanted. Fitness basically means to be physically fit and also healthy. Fitness can be different for everyone since we all have different bodies, strengths, health, and how fit we are. In this picture here, it shows the different levels of fitness, which are the fittest level, which is athlete, to the least fittest level, which is where the person needs assistance in working out. But it's okay, you just have to keep trying to get better. Now let's get back to where we were. Being fit really means to be physically healthy and also emotionally and mentally healthy as well. Being emotionally and mentally healthy is when you're happy, like this old woman here, enjoying her day, doing fitness. Once you finish doing your workout, like a long walk, jog, run, or exercise, suddenly you will feel great since you stretched out your whole body and now you would feel like doing more just from that great workout. Now, why is fitness important? I'll be telling you what the benefits of doing fitness are. Number one, when doing fitness, it can improve your health. If you feel that your heart rate is beeping faster than normal speed, that's actually good since you've been working hard, allowing blood to flow nonstop and normally to make you healthier each time. Number two, fitness reduces the risk of getting diseases like type two diabetes cancer, and more. When doing fitness, it helps your body get stronger, allowing it to fight all or most of the diseases that come at you. Finally, number three, fitness increases long-term health benefits for you. When you're active and strong, it releases a good feeling, making you feel happy and allows you to live longer since you're energized. Also, when you do exercise, since it would be hard to get the diseases, you would also be able to live longer as well. One thing that can show why fitness is important is from Hank's amazing story. Hank is a senior and he loves riding the bike. One day in 2010, he got hit from a mail truck and was in a coma for a whole year. Once he woke up, they had a lot of tests and sadly, the doctor said he can't walk. Even when Hank heard this tragic news, he didn't give up and he tried to do fitness by first doing leg exercises to get his strength back and when it was time, he started to walk. Now with the power of fitness and exercise, in 2013, he began doing 100 push-ups, 80 sit-ups and he walked his dog each day. When doing this, he caught up to his old body and got even stronger this time. Since Hank put in the work and effort, he was able to cycle again, and he encouraged other seniors to do fitness as well. From this, I learned to never give up and to keep trying until the end. Now, since you know the benefits of fitness, I'll be saying three tips to help you stay fit. Number one, you should exercise daily. Doing exercise can keep your heart rate going and allows you to become more healthier. Number two, you should also eat the right amount of foods and healthy foods, especially. Try and stay away from sweets and eat healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, and eat the right amount. You can also eat protein foods like eggs and more. Finally, have good sleeping habits. You should get good sleep because after you do some workout, your muscles need to relax or else you might get muscle aches and you won't be able to think properly. Now, some simple exercises that require no equipment include planks, squats, sit-ups, burpees, and push-ups. These are all simple exercises you can do on your own. For each of these exercises, you should start slowly and progress on it as time passes. For example, if it is your first time doing a plank, try to hold it for 10 seconds and then for the next day, add a bit more depending on your skills. And remember, each new day is a new opportunity to improve yourselves. Thank you, and I hope you start doing fitness soon. Bye.